A lot of the real world problems that we face with mental health and addiction are discovered in the context of primary medical care. If we put primary care doctors in the position of um, being the front line for mental illness and addiction, we have to empower them and support them in terms of digital decision support. In other words, when the doctor gets a sophisticated input about the information of the data, it is becoming possible to predict what particular treatments this individual patient is more likely to respond to. And so we want to harness that technology to help us figure out what kinds of interventions work best for which kinds of people. This also is part of computational psychiatry now. However, we would much rather be in the process of prevention than in the process of treatment. So what we've tried to do is to bring mental health pretty uniquely and innovatively at Yale New Haven. We're universally screening people who are coming into various parts of the hospital. I think that this is a transformative moment for society in terms of the recognition, the diagnosis and treatment of psychiatric disorders and addictions broadly.